OKRs are not just a new way of defining goals. OKRs are actually a new way of working with goals. And that becomes very obvious when we look at the OKR cycle. The OKR cycle consists of different elements and it all starts with the long-term goals. So that can be a purpose statement, a vision, a mission, a strategy that you have currently written down for your team, your department, or your entire organization. So anything that gives a clear indication of where you see your organization in the future. This serves as a foundation for the OKR definition. So the point in time at the beginning of the cycle where you set your objectives and key results to define what is now the next most important step towards achieving your long-term goals. Once the OKRs are set, you start with the iterative cycle, meaning that you will regularly track your progress towards your objectives and key results in so-called OKR check-ins. This is a gathering where you meet as a team on a regular basis, so for example, weekly or bi-weekly, to talk about the status quo, what you have achieved so far, and whether or not you need to change something in your execution to make it easier to achieve your goals. You will do that over time in the OKR cycle, and then at the end, you will gather again for the OKR reflection. Here you will reflect both on the result, so what you have achieved so far, as well as the collaboration around OKRs and the OKR process. And you will gather a lot of insights and learning from the last OKR cycle and take all these insights and learnings into the OKR definition and then start the cycle again.